He had a meeting which we hope was constructive. But of course, the problem, the problem that we've got is to what degree you can trust what the leader of the council is actually saying. Because he, his argument basically was, well, it's all the fault of the Tories. Well, we know it's a fault of the Tories. But the, um, there's very little that we can do. Well, that's not actually true because uh, Stefan, Stefan here will tell you that, in fact, in uh, Ealing, the lead of the council, the lead person on education, the local MPs, all openly opposed academisation. They do. So that is something that they could do. And what they did say is they would be willing to go along to the meeting of parents and meeting of staff, uh, and that they would say that Brent Council opposed to academisation. I think that's a step forward. Mm. I think what they need to do is actually impose some discipline on the uh, Labour whip, who, who is also the chair of governors, who is the person that is pushing uh, the conversion. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's a, it's been a very, it's a useful meeting. It was mm. constructive, it was positive, but it's it's difficult to say what impact that will have in the end. We, stay we keep we keep positive. We need to um, obviously we've got the action next week on the 16th and 17th. So I think it's been if you've had the opportunity to speak to some other Labour councillors, um, then that will be really really useful because I think we need to put the pressure on them because when Mohammed Butt says it's not. It's not significant. It's not what we want. It's what the uh, governors want. The two are not separate. There's no. There's no uh, difference there. He is. This has many, many, many arguments um, for and against academisation. At this point in time, there is um, zero, zero evidence, which, or at least. Uh, in um, social scientific terms, very weak evidence to show that academisation uh, leads to the improvement of schools. But that's actually besides the point. Uh, what I see in front of me tonight are a group of very dedicated, uh, enthusiastic, uh, bright teachers, which is why the village school is outstanding. It's because of people like you. And I think. Um, it's quite shocking, really, that um, this uh, idea is being moulded in the first place. Um, in terms of, in terms of what I think, however, I think that's actually quite uh, irrelevant. At the end of the day, Brent Central Labour Party is opposed to it. Teachers are opposed to it. Support staff are opposed to it. And I think it's um, mine, our duty as Labour, as a Labour group representing Labour workers, teachers, to um, not go with what is essentially a Conservative policy. The Academy programme, MAT, free schools, those are Tory policies designed to atomise separate um, and then I think ultimately in the long term dismantle the state education system and I think what we're doing here, uh, we're fighting not a really short medium term battle but rather a long term battle to preserve uh, great state education. So I'm really happy we're all here tonight, really happy that um, we have taken our time it's a cold winter's evening and we're all here and uh, a lot of councillors who passed by have said that they are going to oppose this as well. I'm going to try my damn hardest to make sure that everyone tonight, uh, or at least the vast majority of the people in the room, opposes this. Um, I, I, I really don't think this is the um, Labour thing to do. So um, I think what we should do as a Labour Party, as the Brent group, Brent Labour Party, is therefore to oppose this tonight and then um, 
make that opposition as loud and as public as possible. That's all I'm going to say on this. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you.